all right youtubers so i just did a thing got a suspension upgrade um let me show you really quick what i did here so freedom off or i'm sorry all dog off-road upper control arms and i got a one inch spacer uh that's inside here i got a one inch spacer to put on top of the rad flows the rad flows are 2.5 but i basically have them set at like two and a quarter and so running two running actually a three and a quarter inch lift up front and what i like the most about this is that with the rad flows or i'm sorry with the all dog off road upper control arms there literally is no coil bucket contact i'm putting my hand right now between the uh upper control arm and the coil bucket no contact whatsoever that's what i like the most uh it's going to give you more droop more articulation more flex and you're not going to hit the uh coil bucket so really pleased with these as you can see there's no coil bucket contact this is my hand right here um i mean i already shaved off the lip from my previous upper control arms uh, i was running freedom off roads and those worked out really well i really liked them um they were really cheap i got them for like 369 dollars and uh yeah they worked out really well but excuse me but i had to shave the coil bucket but now that i got the all dog off roads uh, i got these for 489 dollars and they pressed in the uh the bushings so all i had to do is have them installed um they're ready to go they got zert fitting on top and uh so all you gotta do is just maintain them by greasing them. The dessert fittings right in here, and if you, you want to see that, you can see that right there. And you can see there's no coil bucket contact whatsoever. Look at that. See the spacing? Plenty. We're talking plenty of room. So if you can see, see that. So no coil bucket contact, which is great. So it's not going to be clanking around and banging around. Really like that. Uh, 2.5 rad flows up front. This thing rides so smooth. And uh, in the rear, in the rear, running uh, a U-bolt flip kit from Nistec with uh, Bilstein in the rear. Uh, but these are plus twos, so they give you an extra two inches. Uh, to accommodate for the uh, two inch travel and uh, That's what you want to do guys if you're gonna add two inches to your rear end You got to get plus two shocks because plus two means they're giving you an extra two inches of a uh, shock travel So that way it accommodates um, You don't want to just get regular Bilstein shocks and slap them on there because then you're not going to be using the entire shock uh, The thing will be topped out and it'll just be kind of just going clang 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 making weird sounds and it's not going to feel as plush as it should uh i've got the uh deaver adaleaf it's a two inch adaleaf from nistec again with the u-bolt uh, flip kit and the plus two uh bilsteins in the rear this thing is so smooth man it just it's amazing so <clears throat> i did go to a place in ventura called go big suspension uh, right off of Knoll Avenue and uh, they put it all together I'm man I used to be a mechanic and I just got tired of doing it so I had them do it anyway came out great <clears throat> excuse me and they uh, aligned it as well so the thing came out really good so yeah uh, if you guys got any questions or comments let me know all right thanks a lot bye